I know many people actually think I've always had my life together and probably just a really naturally positive person. But really, the truth is, years ago I used to spend my time daily sitting in my bed, probably crying and telling myself how worthless I was. Again, the truth is, I hate ever talking about this girl I was because those feelings and that time in my life was really dark. I actually am thinking over and over again if I should even talk about this on social media. But I'm sharing it because I know there's others out there battling the same hardship I was. Years ago, I wouldn't have been able to tell you that I'd see myself happy one day. I had 100 mean things to say about myself and everything around me. I can't tell you that my words will change your life or make everything better. But if you listen closely, and not only listen, but take action, you can see a change. On the flip side, if you're letting your mind tell you that you can't do what I'm about to tell you, I'm sorry to say, you will continue being unhappy because you're deciding to refuse happiness and change. It might sound kind of offensive, I know. And you can go ahead, pause, and shut off this video because I really can't sugarcoat real life for you. So let's get started. I have 10 things that were pertinent in finding my true self and letting go of the girl I was. Number one, first, accept. Second, change. It sounds so simple, but we all know it's not. But that's life's greatest challenge and what can really depict how strong we can be in life. Accept that you're wrong. Accept that you're not perfect. Accept that you're not in peace. Accept that you're not happy whatever it is, then change. Because you have the ability to change your life and mold it. Number two, write down all of your complaints or even think them out loud. Your friend irritated you today. Your job is frustrating and way too busy. Your relationship is falling apart. Then look at it from a different perspective. Is there a solution to these issues? Is there a positive to these complaints that you are overlooking? I'll leave the rest of this to you. Number three, focus on finding yourself. What's your purpose? You will thrive on your purpose. That's what you're on this earth for, so live for it. Number four, it's okay to take risks. It's okay to not listen to what other people are telling you to do. Listen to you. Number five, let what hurts you go. Let it go or let it make you miserable for the rest of your life. I'll leave, the, I'll leave that decision up to you. Number six, this one sounds pretty easy. Smile, literally just smile, laugh, dance, even if there's absolutely no reason to. Who cares if you look silly? I'm telling you now that it'll make you feel better. Number seven, deflect your negative energy into something positive. Whether this is lifting, running, drawing, writing, singing, maybe you can even go to counseling, just let it out somehow. Don't keep it inside. Number eight, get outside of your comfort zone. Growth begins when you're willing to feel awkward and uncomfortable to try something new and different. Number nine. Before I say this, I'm going to have a little disclaimer. No, you can't run from everything negative in your life. Negativity will actually push you down and challenge you to see how far you can bend until you break. I've been there. And this is partly what this whole video is about how to be strong, and how to get through it. But you know deep down what's really draining the energy out of you. So if possible, surround yourself with as much happy as you can and get rid of what's bad for you. Number 10. When you get closer to reaching those last nine things that I've talked about, radiate like a sun and shine your smile onto others. Use your life and abilities to make a difference, whether that's big or small. And you'll see what I mean when you get there. 
Some days will still be hard, but you depict how you re react to those days. So my last message is to you that one day you will be able to say, this is what I've made of my life because I didn't give up when I felt like everything around me was falling apart. I tried to change my life. I tried to continue to be positive. I may have fell time and time again, but I picked myself back up because I have the ability to, and just that is a reason to not give up. Lights out, lying in your arms, and these feelings start to change. Thank you.